I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have back with us Dr. Hack from Utopia. Dr. Hack, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for coming back on. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. You're very welcome. It's been about a year since we last spoke about Utopia and all of the ecosystem that has been developed uh, in decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networking. There's so much to cover. For the viewers that didn't see our first interview, I'd love to just re-kick it off with an, an explanation of what is Utopia, how does it bring value, and how does it utilize all these technologies to bring privacy and protection to the users? Sure. Uh, I would recommend uh, to all such viewers to search Utopia on your channel to see our interview, which was done last year. Uh, I'll explain Utopia in a few lines. Uh, Utopia is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer ecosystem, the development of uh, which began covertly in about 2013, and it was officially released in November of 2019. It is providing access to secure and surveillance resistant communication and finance. In uh, about August of this year, Utopia launched uh, Utopia UST, which is a stablecoin. Uh, for those wondering uh, what is Utopia UST, UST is a stablecoin which is built upon Utopia's serverless peer-to-peer -peer blockchain, which currently powers the all-in-one kit for secure instant messaging, encrypted email, voice communication, and private web browser. Very cool. Thank you for that overview. And yeah, I, last I recall, you know, there's so much functionality inside of the application, and you do have the native cryptocurrency. And if I'm not wrong, there's another cryptocurrency as well, but there's also the Utopia USD. Is that right? Yes, that is right. That is yeah. right. Uh, if uh, you allow me, I'll explain about Utopia USD in detail. Uh, like the native Utopia currency, Krypton, uh, Utopia USD also features uh, anonymous transactions by default and does not reveal any identifying information to its blockchain, rendering its history completely untraceable. Every transaction is completely private and leaves absolutely no metadata visible. Uh, no other cryptocurrency wow. currently provides this level of future-proof, untraceable transactions. Uh, competing uh, private cryptocurrencies uh, rely on obfuscation techniques rather than genuine anonymization and are vulnerable to various tracking tools offered by the likes of uh, CyberTrace, etc. Utopia USD is designed to maintain a one ratio one parity with the US dollar. Utopia USD is an anonymous, secure, instant, and liquid payment method. Uh, its value is backed by the DAI cryptocurrency collateral that equals the total supply of uh, Utopia USD. And the initial supply is 1 million USD backed by a million DAI located in a public Ethereum wallet, which can be viewed by anyone. Uh, so we don't have to go in such issues which we see against USDT uh, that everyone is asking them to prove the uh, backing, which they are, mm -hmm. I don't know if they have or not. <laughs> that's great and that's amazing all of the privacy functionality that is able to be designed inside of the blockchain you know there's a lot of discussion recently about other privacy coins and i'm glad that you mentioned there are the differences between them um, and i'm curious you know with all of that privacy functionality built in to the protocol automatically you also have you know you can have decentralized exchanges you can also have centralized exchanges and then if you have centralized exchanges, there can be uh, maybe the exchange asks you for your personal information or in other ways, not through the currency sure. specifically, but is the Utopia USD also traded on decentralized and centralized exchanges? Well, uh, Utopia is all about privacy. Keeping privacy in mind, the liqui liquidity of Utopia USD is supported by market making uh, algorithms on several exchanges, including Krypton Exchange. If you remember in our last interview, I mentioned that an uh, integral exchange was in the works and Krypton Exchange is the same which has been launched. In Krypton Exchange, conversion is possible at a near zero fee exchange rate. Uh, Krypton Exchange is natively integrated uh, anonymous crypto exchange which, uh, with instant deposits and uh, automated withdrawals. The exchange is available in the censorship resistant form inside Utopia ecosystem by the domain mm -hmm. CRP or can also be viewed on ClearNet by visiting crp.is if for some reason uh, someone cannot access uh, Utopia. Mm -hmm. Monero community will be happy to know that uh, CRP exchange has uh, also listed Monero trading pair, mm -hmm. which means that Utopia is advocating and supporting coins with similar interest. Uh, as we talked uh, last time that Monero may be anonymous, but all the exchanges where it is listed require some form of uh, verification, which you just mentioned. 
By listing Monero in CRP Exchange, Utopia has helped Monero to serve the purpose for which it was built. Love it. Very cool. And with that internal exchange and in the Utopia ecosystem, is there any requirements or KYC or personal information that you need to give to start using Utopia in the ecosystem? No, no. Uh, there's none. It's not just that there are no verifications of uh, any sort. Uh, Utopia was built with privacy. I mean, I have said this word so many times because that's the main uh, emphasis of Utopia. So Utopia mm -hmm. was built with privacy and utility in mind. That is anonymous transactions which are instant and they are like 30 to 40 times cheaper than Ethereum transactions. Uh, mm. Being a P2P platform, it rules out network congestions and uh, utility features like crypto cards, which enables payments, invoicing, U vouchers will allow offline and transaction transactions. And of course, an easy to use uh, graphical interface with built in API tools for merchants, developers who are already building great products inside Utopia. Well, great to know. Thank you for that, Dr. Hack. And also with all of the functionality inside of Utopia and having the exchanges there, uh, obviously it's privacy focused, as you keep mentioning, but I'm curious about the security and the integrity of the ecosystem itself and from the developers and you said that it's a decentralized system. <clears throat> so <clears throat> to what degree is the decentralization in the fact that the creators or the admins can or cannot control people and things inside of the ecosystem? Uh, we had a similar talk about the encryption mechanism in our last interaction. Uh, each ecosystem user privacy is protected by utilizing a uh, dynamic multi-link routing engine. Uh, man in the middle attack protection is also there. Encryption is uh, implemented in authentication mode using the libsodium. Uh, sodium library has a function of a libsodium using the public key encryption logarithm, which encrypts, signs, and authenticates packets, objects, and connections between the pairs. Uh, the encryption logarithms I just mentioned, they are various in place like uh, uh, Curve 25519, XALSA20, uh, Stream Cypher, Poly1305, MAC. So, and by now, so many researchers and bug bounty hunters have tried to dissect the ecosystem and it is still standing strong. Uh, Utopia blockchain is based on proof of stake and proof of resource logarithms. Uh, full nodes are located around the group which participate in packet routing and validation in return receiving a reward after every 15 minutes, which is mm. one block's generation time. By providing internet connectivity, RAM and CPU resources of a miner machine, reward is given in terms of Krypton. Same miners make Utopia resilient to censorship. I would request everyone who are listening to this to Google Utopia routing mechanism and network encryption. I'm hmm. sure it will leave everyone impressed on the efforts went into ensuring how users of the ecosystem stay anonymous. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you for that information. And last time we spoke as well, we were talking about new exchange listings and, and growing the ecosystem for the coins, you know, for Krypton and, and Utopia USD outside of the ecosystem. I'm curious if you have any updates on is there new exchange listings? Is that a part of the focus for the ecosystem? Well, uh, actually, the problem with exchanges is that they have to comply with regional laws. We don't blame them, but they have to comply, uh, which in the garb of security extract user personal data. For example, the recent examples of uh, BitMart and uh, Ascend EX getting hacked won't be the last of such news we hear. Uh, mm -hmm. Utopia takes great pride in uh, protecting user data, and therefore it is not uh, engaging with such platforms and is being very selective about where to get Krypton listed. Because of same reason, Utopia launched the Integral Exchange, which uh, eradicates all KYC-related issues for its users. Mm -hmm. Although, the team is still making efforts to list on exchanges which, which respect uh, user data. And they have mentioned that getting Krypton listed on more exchanges is still in the works. Uh, while some exchanges have uh, already listed Krypton on their own, uh, like uh, LA Token and uh, P2B, B2B, etc. Yeah, that's all. Although I would like to talk about the price movement because many of the viewers uh, which are inside this uh, crypto also like to know about the price of a token. Uh, so uh, no one can predict that, to be honest. Uh, but as demand increases, the price will uh, increase due to limited supply. For instance, uh, just in last two months, Krypton price went from an average of $0.1 to $1.4. And wow. that too happened organically as the price is still steady after the lapse of two months, indicating that people are understanding the uniqueness of the project. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great growth uh, to hear about. 
and I'm glad that you're focused on external listings. And of course, yeah, you want to make sure that the privacy is a focus and it, the regulatory bodies are, you know, constantly coming in on larger, big exchanges and, and enforcing that kind of non-privacy. Um, and, and I was looking at, you know, Utopia on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, and I saw that, you know, the volume is, it, it's great to see the price increase. The volume's not the highest. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if you have any insights into the volume and the trading of the coins. Yeah, uh, CMC and CoinGecko, etc. They show trading volume of exchanges which they have added. And uh, being a privacy-centric uh, platform, people prefer to use the integral exchange Krypton, and that is why the trading mm -hmm. volume appears less than the actual amount because uh, Krypton uh, is on the Utopia ecosystem and is not uh, listed or supported by CMC and CoinGecko. But to be honest, it's a matter of time before uh, Krypton uh, Integral Exchange also gets listed on CMC and CoinGecko, and the volume trading volume will be not an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a lot of the trading is going on on the on the Integral Exchange on the platform, and. You mentioned the price increase of the coin. I'm curious about the actual ecosystem itself. You know, is there a lot of growth coming in terms of users and, and daily active users uh, in line with the growth of the tokens as well? Uh, being a decentralized platform, uh, one cannot talk about the total users of Utopia. However, uh, one metric which shows the growth is the number of miners running Utopia miners. Mm. So there are about 40,000 mining threads on an average, uh, which has even touched about 50,000 at a time. Uh, it is important to mention that at times all the users are not the miners as well. So the figure of active users is certainly higher than those of the miners. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, that's good to know. Um, and there's a bunch of functionality inside of the ecosystem that we didn't really get to touch on because there's so many different things. Uh, but one of the things that really caught my attention was the UNS. And this has become pretty popular. Uh, you know, I've, I've recently spoke to a bunch of domain name services and other service providers, and there's an influx of people that are buying these right now. Can you talk about the UNS system inside of Utopia and, and how that's going? Utopia naming system uh, were the NFTs of Utopia even before the mainstream uh, crypto started adopting it. Uh, while NFTs concept will be further incorporated inside uh, Utopia, uh, we have around 7,000 UNS have been registered already. And like uh, registering a two letter UNS uh, currently costs around $6,000 in uh, Utopia ecosystem. And there are about uh, uh, so many such two-letter uh, UNS which have already been claimed like uh, QQ, AV, etc. Hmm. And although the team recently did leave a teaser uh, recently that uh, UNS and NFT expansion will be done inside Utopia in an unprecedented manner, uh, not seen on the internet before. So that is something exciting and we all are waiting for the update. Very cool. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Hack. And for the viewers that are looking to start using this, learn more about the new stablecoin, the exchange, all of the other functionality that we didn't really have time to mention as well. What's the best way for people to learn more and to get involved in Utopia? I would request everyone uh, to check out their official uh, website, uh, which is u.is, or they can uh, Google Utopia ecosystem and they will uh, get to the right place and they should explore it because there's so much to explore and I'm sure they will uh, find it very interesting. Very cool. I will leave those links as well in the description box below. Thank you so much, Dr. Hack, for coming back on. All the best with the continued growth of Utopia ecosystem, and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you.